Hey everybody, this is Cheese.6. This is just a quick video about how to get and use the respawn anchor added in Minecraft Snapshot 20w12a. The first thing that you'll need to craft the respawn anchor is Crying Obsidian. How do you get Crying Obsidian? By bartering with piglins. So in survival, you'll want to gear up with gold so the piglins aren't hostile toward you. And then you throw them a gold ingot and they will throw you back some goodies. So here we got nether quartz. And if we wait a little bit, he'll throw us something else. Instead of doing this manually, what you can do is you can build my design for this piglin farm. So all of the piglins are in there. It fires out a ton of gold bars all at once, and then they trade them. And then all of the goodies come down into these chests. So you will see here that we do have crying obsidian and we have glowstone dust. Those are the two things that we need to make the respawn anchor. And then we go to our crafting table, craft the glowstone dust into glowstone, and then place them in the crafting table in this configuration. Just like that. So then, in the nether, you will place down your respawn anchor. Okay, it doesn't do anything now, it's basically just a fancy decoration. But, if you take a piece of glowstone, you right click it, it is now activated. This does not reset your spawn point. You need to right click it again with something that is not glowstone. So an empty hand or soul sand or nether quartz or gold ingot or anything that's not glowstone. If you right click it with glowstone, it will only charge it. It will not reset your spawn point. Now that my spawn point is reset here, I'm gonna go into survival mode. And I'm gonna jump off and show you that I will respawn in the nether right up there. Wow. And look at that. This also works if you die in the overworld. You'll just respawn right back in the nether. And you'll see that each time I've respawned, one of the charges has been decreased. So we started off with four charges. One, two, three, four. And now, since we've used it twice, it has gone down to two. Something else to be cautious of is that every time you go through the exit portal in the end, you will respawn back at your anchor and it will use up one of the charges. See, we've used up our third charge there and now we're at, we're at one. So if I die one more time, we will have used up all the charges and I'll show you what happens then. So now it is deactivated, and if I die again, I will just respawn in the overworld. Oh no, it's right here, it's okay. I think it's probably a good idea to have a chest filled with glowstone, so every time you respawn and take away one of the, one of the little notches here, you can just top it off. So you may be wondering, what happens if I use this in the overworld? Well, I'll show you. You can stock it up with glowstone, so it has the cool portal effect and, and particle effects here. But as soon as you try to right click it to reset your spawn, you get a big explosion. A very devastating explosion, look at that. So it's basically the same thing that happens when you try to sleep in a bed in the nether. The same is true in the end dimension. If you place down your respawn anchor, fill it up with glowstone, it's fine. You can walk around it, you can look at it, you can admire it, but as soon as you try to reset your spawn by right-clicking, boom, 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 huge, huge explosion. And you get the same size explosion even if you only have one charge. Now, if you have multiple of these next to each other, they look like a little cute face, look at that, very cute, Oh, but, What's more important is that they are blast resistant. So you can blow one up, but the other one, because it's you know made of obsidian, is perfectly fine until you right click it. So hopefully this video has answered some of your questions about the respawn anchor and how to get it. If you haven't already, make sure to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it or you found it helpful. Make sure to subscribe to this channel for more Minecraft content and follow me on Twitch because I do stream irregularly. Also, don't forget to check out my Piglin Trading Farm video because there's a world download and I think it's pretty good. Thank you for watching and I will see you
next time.